The year was 2007. TK's hair was long and my street was short. Land Street. Welcome to Repress Memories. Today I'll be revisiting my favourite era of Shorty Street. The thing that made Shorty so good in 2007 was the amazing characters. The Mackay family were some of my favourites. Hunter Mackay at the time was dating a woman called Tess who was way older than him. Justine and Callum Mackay did not approve. You probably shouldn't stay for much longer then you have study to do. Oh but I've made cake. Tess eventually did dumb Hunter though and of course Hunter cried to the song Anchor Me on his iPod Nano. Sophie Mackay though was dating a guy called Angus. She did not like his friends though. What are we playing? I'm pretty good at snap. <laughs> nice one. Another one of my favourite families was the Jeffreys. There was Tanya Jeffreys who dated Mark. Then there was Maya Jeffreys who had a baby with Mark. Mission accomplished. He just handed Maya a thing of sperm. What, what do you call that? A, a punnet of sperm. Maya was great though, she was a lesbian and had a civil union with her partner Jay. There's actually a video of these two kissing on YouTube. It has 2.1 million views. There's like only a couple comments. One of them just says, kiss smooch. So, <laughs> it's really cool. Libby, the third Jeffrey sister, was Chris Warner's PA. These two eventually did fall in love, but I always thought she deserved better. I'll grab us a coward from the fridge. We is going rabbit hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald Tippett was a friend of the Jeffreys family and fellow receptionist with Yvonne. What do they call you anyway? Is there such a thing as a male receptionist? Apparently. Things have changed since the 1950s, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> At one point in the show, Yvonne was trying to work out if Gerald was gay or not. He pranked her, pretended that he was on a date with this creepy guy, then he ended up setting Yvonne up with him instead. Well, where do we start? This guy is the creepiest fucking person I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, Yvonne was very annoyed at Gerald. I told Libby that I'd be meeting your gay partner tonight. She's convinced that you're gay. What am I going to tell her now? That I'm not gay? Now, the most exciting thing about 2007 Shorty Street was the Ferndale Strangler. This harmonica playing asshole was strangling innocent women because they keep rejecting him. Even Gerald was getting more sex than Joey and he was asexual, so that's pretty shame. At the time though, we didn't know who the strangler was. It was very exciting. The finale was very scary. Um, it was one of those episodes that has a PG rating before you watch. That's when you know shit's about to go down on Shorty. Kieran Mitchell also came to Ferndale in 2007. Him and Libby started dating for a while, which was great, but she did not like that he was running secret dodgy parties for people to have drugs at. What if one of them overdoses, then what? Mario knows first day. Who the hell is Mario? It's a me, a Mario. Now back in these days, Harry Warner was actually played by a completely different actor. And this kid was absolutely off the fucking rails. He keeps sticking knives into toasters. Harry, no! Anchor me. Sadly though, Harry's mum died in 2008. Everything you do for the rest of your life, you should ask, what would mum think? Wow. I wonder if Tony would be proud of Harry now. Please tell me that is not your... Kiss smooch. When Joey died in 2008 though, we all thought there was no way that Shorty could keep up the scandal. But they did. Ethan Pierce became the new villain of the show. Um, it was very obvious from the start though that he was the villain. Ominous music always played when he was around. He got together with Brooke Freeman, but he kept making her do creepy, submissive things. Brooke started dating Chris Warner for a while after Ethan, and she kept trying to do the submissive, kinky things with Chris. It did not go well. I should never have brought it up. Sorry, Daddy. 
The only person who calls me daddy is upstairs asleep, okay? And even with him, it's dad these days. The final episode of 2008 was an absolute banger. Tanya Jeffries and her boyfriend Kingy got buried underneath some rocks and Ethan was shot by a mysterious figure. Who was it? Well, it turned out to be Maya Jeffries, because one time he called her a sexually frustrated lesbian. Sexually frustrated lesbians are such easy targets. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn king Where are they now? Where did you go, guys? Ethan Pierce. Okay, just found this photo of him. Oh, God. Kieran Mitchell. The guy who played Kieran Mitchell still tweets about Shorty Street a whole lot, so that's not a good sign. Oh, that's a good sign, though. Please tell me that is your penis. Joey Henderson. Okay, he can strangle me any day. Yvonne Jeffries. I actually met Yvonne Jeffries last year. It was great, um, but she did not look happy to see me. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Repressed Memories. That's all the episodes for now, but you can check out these other ones here. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.